Hey guys, here we are back in shop. Um, I wanted to show y'all something. Three or four years ago, I did a, a video on, on a degassing and our little pre small pressure chamber uh, for casting. Uh, I know I, I have hardly ever used this for pressure casting. I know it can explode because it's made of P PVC, but it made a really good degassing chamber. Anyway, you can see I've used this a whole bunch. Um, I mean, I've cleaned it out multiple times. Uh, you can go back and look at the video. I've got uh, my where I pull my, I hook up my um, vacuum pump to, and then here's where I release the pressure on this side. But anyway, this thing's worked really good for a long time, and I just use a piece of plexiglass on top to um, seal it off. And you can just see I got weather stripping around here just to um, seal it. Works really good. Degas is fantastic. Well. I've got some molds now that are just way too big to fit in there. And yeah, you can go out and spend a whole bunch of money on buying a one that's professionally made. And, um, but I, I, I just don't feel like I'm going to spend that kind of money. So yesterday I, I didn't make a video of building this, but I made this and it um, works. It works really well because I wasn't sure if it'd hold up or, or handle the gate or handle the vacuum. But anyway, what it is, it took some plain scrap, uh, plywood is what uh half inch uh, cabinet plywood is what it is um i just cut it fitted fitted a box i put the bottom in i recessed it in and i sealed it all with um i, I built the whole thing out of five minute epoxy and then i went back and sealed it um with micro balloons and uh mixed with epoxy around all the corners you can see, you can probably see it over there. I sealed it all the way around. Now the aluminum foil's in there just to catch any spillover that it comes out of any mold or anything. But then um, I come in here, I just drilled and tapped it for the half inch. Here, I knew still need to put a, a valve, a release valve, but um, it works perfect. Just I use old weather stripping. I got this at the end of the year for like a dollar from um, uh, Walmart. Um, and then I just put enough to come around the edges and then I seal it off with a piece of plastic that, or is plexiglass. Plexiglass looks great because you can actually see what you're doing. Um, and then I just have it hooked to my vacuum. Me, sorry, I'm going to mess up. I feel like my vacuum's away. Anyway, I just hook it up there. I'll sometimes show you how it works. Just the only thing you get to seal is just give it a little press. It seals up. You see how it pulled down the um, weather stripping all the way around, and it will degas um, really well. Um, I have my degasser, and then I can immediately. I'm, I'm using the um, resin that cures off in three minutes. Or I mean, it, it hardens in three minutes. So um, I'm able to go from there. You can see how it's still cut off. It's holding the seal. Now, if you let it set five minutes, it'll pop loose, but it'll really pull down pretty good. I move, move immediately from there down to my pressure pot. And this is just one of the Harbor Freight um, pressure pot, uh, paint, uh, what is it, the paint canister or whatever to, that they use. And I just added some valves to it, and it, it works really well also. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this. You can make your own. That probably cost me $2 in scrap wood. And then the five minute epoxy, but it works good. And like I said, my bigger molds fit right down in there. Um, so anyway, just wanted to give you that. And I hope it helps. Just, um, I always try to do things a little bit cheaper. Um, matter of fact, there's the first part I pulled out of it. This, a uh, smokestack come out of that part right there, come out perfect. So, all right. Hope the video helps. Hope you enjoy it. Y'all have a great day.